A concrete beam with a single overhang is simply supported at A and B over a span of 8 meter and overhang BC is 2 meter. The beam is 300 by 900 mm and supports 3.52 kN per meter UDL. Determine the profile of the cable to balance dead load and live load. So let us draw the sketch. It is a rectangular cross section 300 by 900 as it is given and we need to draw the beam. This is point A is supported, point B is supported as given in the data. It is simply supported at A and B. Therefore, at the point A, there is a support. At point B, there is a support. At the point C, there is no support. And it is also carrying a load of 3.52 kN. So, we need to draw the sketch carefully. So, I repeat, it is being simply supported at point A. That is, knife edge support at A, knife edge support at B. And at the point C, there is no support. Next, so let us calculate what is dead load. As usual, it is area into density. Live load is given, total is 10. So in the absence of any pre data, we can directly assume if the number of unknowns are higher. In order to simplify, we make use of uh, certain assumptions that is P is equal to 250 kilonewton. And next, we shall calculate what is uh, called as reactions. So this is the over simple overhanging that is single overhanging beam VA plus VB is equal to total load is 10 the total length is 8 plus 2 10 into 10 is 100 kilonewton apply the basics equal basics of mechanics uh, conditions that is equilibrium conditions find out what is what are the reactions at point A and B after finding out the reactions draw the shear force diagram okay so this is how the shear force diagram And shear force so for a UDL that is uniformly distributed load, it comes out like this. Okay, this is the reaction 37.5. Okay, and we need to know what is the bending moment at the point, these two points we have to calculate. And this is x distance, this is section xx, and this is 8 minus x. This is the overhanging 2 meter. The point where the shear force is zero, the bending moment is maximum. So we are trying to locate the position of the zero shear force from the concepts of similar triangles. By applying the concept of similar triangle, we will get to know the value of x. That is x we found out after all the calculation as x is equal to 3.75 from A. So after finding out this, it is necessary for us to find out the bending moment so since a is supported c is uh, simply supported a is simply supported the a is uh, a is simply supported and c is the free end bending moments are zero by the fundamental concepts the support a is simple support and at the c there is no support so by with the fundamental understanding we can make this um, assumptions and let us find out what is the bending moment at x 37.5 into 3.75 so this sketch into 3.75 it has been found at minus 10 is nothing but the loading into 3.75 into 3.75 divided by 2 after simplifications and calculations we get mx is equal to 70.31 and finally bending moment at the point b can be obtained as 37.5 into 8 minus 10 into 8 into 8 divided by 2 finally it is minus 20 okay and now next we shall plot the bending moment diagram so since it is uniformly distributed load we get the parabolic profile and it is a single overhanging so here there is a support so where there is a support condition in the case of the continuous beam or the single span overhanging this acts as fixity wherever we get to experience the fixity the bending moment will be present here whereas in the case of the simply supported end condition here the bending moment is zero at this point a was it at the support a and the bending moment at the point c is zero and cable profile in order to find out what is the cable profile 
we are making use of the expression E is equal to M by P which is generally measured from neutral axis uh, that is eccentricity at the point A is 0, eccentricity at the point C is 0. Therefore, it is necessary for us to find out the eccentricities only at the xx distance that is where the shear force is 0 okay and we have to find it out at the point B. So substitute what is the bending moment at the point xx that is mx and we get the final value as 281.24 and at the point B here the, there is a change in the sign convention and that is how here the negative sign indicates that the cable is above the neutral axis. The, see the uh, sign conventions can be made anything suitably and finally the eccentricity at the point B is minus 80 mm and finally we get the cable profile like this so here one main thing can be noticed that we have suggested the cable profile in the fashion similar to that of the bending moment profile so the bending moment profile was here in this fashion the cable is been provided in this fashion and finally the cable profile has to be drawn indicating properly what are the eccentricity distance or the eccentric distance this is at the support that is it is at the support condition b and this is at the central maximum bending moment value it is that is xx value and we need to designate carefully or mention what are the various distances here and this represents the depth